So y'all, I ended up confronting her the next day. I text her and I'm just like, you and BJ had sex? His gonna text me. I told you he was with other people. <laughs> First, let me just say, welcome to Vlogmas Day 6, 7, 7. I'm back with another motherfucking story time, y'all. We finna just hop right into the video because I don't even want to drag this on because this might be a long story time. I really don't know. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you guys turn on my post notifications to be notified every time I post a video. And yeah. I'm going to tell y'all a story about the time that this girl was my man because I didn't want to be with her. Let's just get into the story time so y'all can kind of understand. This story time took place back in high school. I was going to... For the sake of, you know, other people's identity, I'm going to just keep it a, a secret. Okay. This story time starts out with this girl that I used to mess with. First, I became friends with her brother. I don't remember how me and her brother started hanging out. He don't really need a name. Cause he's not really significant to the story but her brother was like my best friend we met after school one day when everybody would just hang out after school that's when we met we were close as hell like we would talk every single day at school we would walk home together we would walk to school together like he was just real cool so my best friend he had a sister and we're gonna call his sister Tierra. so one day i had met Tierra because my best friend her brother was on the phone with Tierra one day after school and I don't remember why but he had like put me in the camera and then Tierra had asked me like oh um you and my brother are best friends and I was just like yeah that's the homie you know like we were cool da -da -da -da. and you know we just started having a conversation and she was just like oh you're so pretty and I'm just like oh thank you like you're so pretty too but at the time I didn't know she was gay so I wasn't you know we wasn't talking on that type of it wasn't on no flirt and stuff it was just like oh you're cute you're cute too like uh you know girl talk fast forward whatever me and my best friend started really really hanging out and i started going over to his house and of course his sister was there so oh, i guess the sister you feel me she was feeling the kids so she was just like you know i think you're cute i want to fuck with you in that type of way now if y'all don't know i'm a freak okay i can't i don't i don't know like I was young, I was just in it experimenting, I was just, I'm gonna go with the flow and I'm gonna do whatever I want. That's all I'm gonna say. All three of us would hang out at this point, her brother, Tierra, and me, we would always smoke, and she didn't go to our school, she was older than, I think both of us, she was the oldest, and then she was like two years older than me because he was a year older than me, so, yeah, you feel me, she was feeling a youngin, so I'm like, okay, you know, like, I told her, like, you know, I'm not bisexual or anything but like you know we could kick it see where it goes and you know like I'm with whatever she was bisexual so you feel me I think she was like yeah I'm gonna turn this little bitch out so you know we would hang out we would talk all the time and everything was cool between all three of us but then you know me and Tierra we started hanging out by ourselves sometimes like I would go over to her house, she would come over to my house, and we would just kick it. One day she had came over to my house, and we were doing something. I think we were getting ready to go to the pool. I was putting on my bathing suit or whatever, and it was just like, I didn't think nothing of it, because it's like, okay, we're two girls, like, I'm comfortable with you feel me changing in front of me. So she pulled me a little closer to her. You feel me? She was dominant, so she pulled me on top of her while she lay on, the, on my bed, you feel me? elbows back she gonna pull me on top of her and she start kissing me i'm like okay but i ain't scared so what i do i start kissing her back mind y'all i got my little bathing suit on so what she do she start going down on it <laughs> she start going downtown she 
pulled a little bikini bottom to the side, start, you feel me, munching. She started going in. And I'm just like, oh, so this is what this is like. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say too much, but I've done some things on other women, but I ain't ever had no woman do it to me. You feel me? I don't know. Like, I feel like when I have done things with women, I'm more of the dominant one. Like, I'm basically a touch me not. Like, I'm here to please you, baby. But when it comes to dudes, to these niggas, I make them put in all the work. Munch pack, eat it up, lunchables. You feel me? But I'm like, okay, so this is what this feels like. I like it. I be like, uh -huh. He eating it up, eating it up, and that's just what that was for that night. We still kept kicking it. Like, at this point, we was booed up. Even when all three of us hung out, like, her brother kind of knew, like, we were messing with each other at this point. Like, we would be kissing, we would be, I mean, like, we would be, we would be cool. That was my little boo or whatever. Mind y'all, whole time I'm messing with her, I'm thinking it's like no strings attached. I'm, I'm not thinking nothing of it. So I had this little boo that I used to mess with that went to our school. I had been messing with him like from like two grades ago, but I wasn't with him either. So on both ends, I'm single. I would be messing with him and maybe this is where I was wrong, but I didn't feel like I was wrong because I didn't owe not neither one of them an explanation. We're gonna call him BJ. So I was kind of messing with BJ a little bit more. Like I'm not into women. Like I said, I do what I want. I'll do things with a woman, but I'm not into women. Like I don't see myself with a woman. One, because I'm sorry, I'm too damn aggressive to be with a woman and we just gonna be in that bitch fight. So I don't see myself with women. I don't just look at a woman like, damn, like I wanna marry her, but like, you give me a couple shots of uh, Patron from Hennessy, Casamigos. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to do some strange for a piece of change. Anyway, so I feel like now, like, I guess I was kind of wrong because I was messing with BJ at the same time I was messing with her. But like I said, I thought it was just like a friend thing, but I also let you munch on my coochie from time to time. I didn't think it was, you know, like I had to keep my coochie to myself. And, and it was only for you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know you had first priority on the cooch. But also, I wasn't having sex with BJ. So it didn't really bother me. But that was my boo. You know what I'm saying? And she knew that. She knew BJ. She also knew that I was messing with BJ. Or she knew that I did mess with BJ. But I guess she didn't know that I was still messing with BJ. She had told me that they were friends. I would see them hang out from time to time. Like, it was nothing. It didn't bother me. I wasn't jealous because at the end of the day, baby, I'm me. And that's, that's enough said. I know that's right. <laughs> so one day me and Tierra kicking in, we smoking, whatever. And she just asked me out of nowhere and she was like, do you mess with BJ? And I'm like, we're not together, but like, yeah, pretty much. And she was just like, oh. You know he be talking to other bitches, right? And I'm like, who? She was just like, oh, my homegirl said she be talking to him and like, you know, they be kicking it. And I'm just like, who's your homegirl? And she was just like, just don't worry about it. Just, I want to let you know he talks to other people. So I'm like, okay, what do you mean? Don't worry about it. Bitch, why did you bring it up? I wasn't worried about it until you made me worry about it. Bitch, no. When I want to know full details, names, addresses, social securities, who? It was just like, it was nothing I could do about it. She wasn't going to tell me who. I guess she was trying to protect her homegirl. I let it go. Whatever. She had asked me, she was like, what, what are we doing? Like, because I'm feeling you and I'm trying to figure out where your head is at because you messing with BJ and you messing with me. And I'm just like, well, I thought we were just friends type shit. I kind of just want to be like friends. When I tell y'all this bitch going to say, when I met you, my intention wasn't to be your friend. And I'm like, what do you mean by that? And she was like, I wanted to fuck with you. I didn't want to be your friend when I first met you. So I don't want to be your friend now. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Because 
from day one, we didn't start off with you munching on my cat. We've been cool. We've been like, we could go out to parties together. We would smoke together. Like, we didn't have to be on that type of time every time until she, like, you know, made it that way. But it was just like, we had never established, like, oh, you're my girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. So don't talk to other niggas. It was really nothing I could say. She was just like, okay, well, I gotta go home. So I take that confused ass walk back to my apartment and I go home and I'm just like, okay. I mean, when I tell y'all she was so dead serious, like this girl stopped talking to me. She unfollowed me on Instagram. I'm supposed to be still cool with the brother, right? Y'all, why did he stop talking to me too? Not only am I losing my best eater, I'm losing my best friend and a smoking buddy. What the fuck? What's going on? So fast forward a couple weeks, y'all. After this weird shit that's going on. It was one day I was hanging out with BJ. Now, mind y'all, we didn't have cars, no nothing. Like, we didn't really go nowhere spectacular in high school. But everybody would hang out in the surrounding apartments. Because everybody's apartments was pretty much close to each other that went to the schools in the city. So, he had told me, oh, come to my apartment complex and meet me in the clubhouse. So I'm like, all right, cool. I get there, you feel me? We just hanging out, we talking. Somehow we get on the topic of Tierra. And he was like, that's your friend, huh? And I'm like, yeah, that's my friend. Fuck, like, what, you, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? And he was like, that's really not your friend and you don't even know it. And I'm like, how is she not my friend? We hang out every day. We smoke together. Like, that's my friend. And he was like, let me show you something. He pulled out his cellular device and he go like this. Y'all, why I'm staring at Tierra News? I'm like, what is this? It's messages between them. She's sending her pussy. I'm just like, what the fuck? The next thing this man tells me is that him and Tierra had sex in the motherfucking apartment gym. I don't know if he thought this was gonna make me feel better, but he was like, Yeah, I had sex with her, but I didn't even like it. Her pussy was dry. Yeah, yeah. I had to just hold that L. I really did, I had to hold that L. I couldn't say nothing, cause it was like, I'm not giving up the cat to him. So who am I to deny him some cooch? You know what I'm saying? I would be that would be selfish of me. So, but I was more mad at her because it's like, girl, you sitting here smiling in my face, and the whole time you fucking my man, who wasn't my man, but it's just like, damn, of all the niggas in the world, in the apartment gym though, you was bent over behind the weights. Like I don't understand. That's crazy to me. So y'all, I ended up confronting her the next day. I text her and I'm just like. So, you and had sex? Ooh, I said his name. You and BJ had sex? This bitch gonna text me. I told you he was fucking with other people. So why does it even matter? Oh, excuse me? So you was the friend? That was... Y'all, when I tell y'all me and her was beefing for the longest, like really beefing. At one point we were supposed to fight, but I'm trying to figure out why we didn't. Cause girl, all you had to do was walk couple steps to my apartment building and we could have yeah y'all that was the story time of the time that a girl had sex with my man because i didn't want to be with her more of the story is y'all these hoes is not to be trusted and i'm gonna stand on that period that was pretty much it for this story time i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to my channel make sure you guys turn on my post notifications to be notified every time i post a video and make sure you guys share this video share this with your trifling ass friend share this with your nigga that fucked your friend just share it and i'll see y'all in the next video